Hey guys, what is up? Chillfeed here, back bringing you another Borderlands 3 video. Now, I know this isn't part 5 of all the legendary weapons in the game. I'm sorry for all of you who was waiting for it, but don't worry. I will finish the series very soon and part 5 should be coming up tomorrow, so stay tuned. Today, I wanted to try something different. Since there was a big hotfix yesterday that had quite a few changes coming with it. And with that, I wanted to try out if Flag's fadeaway action skill could still work as well as it did before and tested 18 legendary weapons in total that I thought was the best suited for Flag and his fadeaway. For those of you who don't know, the duration of fadeaway was decreased from 8 seconds to 5 seconds when equipping the augment Guerrillas in the Mist and the critical hit damage was reduced from 50% down to 25%. What is very important for you to keep in mind that all of these choices were my own opinion after testing them in Mayhem Mode 3 without any buffs or debuffs applied to them by the Mayhem Mods. I made sure that this was the case by reloading back into the game until there were no mods that gave me any damage increases or decreases by them. These opinions may very well differ from yours so please keep in mind that we can all have different opinions before bashing me because I didn't include your favorite weapon or if I might forgot one that could also work well for flag. There are 121 legendary weapons in total in this game and if you want to see how all of them perform, where and how to get them and what their attacks mean, make sure to check out my legendary weapon series where I have collected almost every single one of them with only four world drops missing so far. The build that you are seeing on screen right now was the build that I was using to capture the gameplay for all of the weapons shown in this video. Now this build is almost purely centered around damage alone and of course what I thought to work best for fadeaway. I chose Athenas as an area since there are enemies of pretty much all types with shields, armor and flash health bars, lots of badasses and two boss type enemies that are fairly popular for farming like the ship Chapeca Bridge and Captain Tron. I also wanted to show off the weapons that work the best for all around use and not just for mobbing or boss farming only. The 18 weapons I tested include the Wagon Wheel, the Companion, the Layuda, the Lucian's Call, the Hellwalker, Sledge's Shotgun, Conference Call, the Butcher, the Unforgiven, Amazing Grace, the Monocle, the Duke, the Maggie, the Becca, the Garcia, Rowan's Call and the Flood. Some of those work surprisingly good, some of them not that much and some work good for mobbing and some for boss fights but not for both. I will always show you the mayhem mods that were applied to prove that they had little to no impact on the weapons at all so keep in mind that they might perform even better with good mobs or obviously worse with bad mobs. Enough for the intro already, let's jump right into the video with number 5 on my list which is probably one of the most popular choices amongst many Borderlands 3 players on every character, the Vlad of Assault Rifle with the name Lucian's Call. And to be honest, what is there not to love about this amazing weapon? With it, you have the potential of infinite ammo without needing to reload whenever landing a crit because it returns two bullets to your magazine. And reloading means less shooting and less shooting means less fun, so who doesn't hate reloading, right? You also get increased fire rate the longer you hold down the trigger for even quicker critical hits that then also ricochet two more bullets to the nearest enemy like a Jacob's weapon. And on top of that, it comes with a double barrel minigun. And what makes this thing so good for flag? Well, with fadeaway and guerrillas in the mist you have A. Infinite crits for 6 seconds and B. Infinite crits for 6 seconds. And if your fadeaway is currently on cooldown, you can get it back super fast with the chance of 30% to reduce the cooldown by 2 seconds with every critical hit you land with the skill headcount. And every time you kill an enemy, you reduce the cooldown by 1.25 seconds with eager to impress and you will have your fadeaway back in no time. It can also come with any element and even though the one I was using is fire element, it still melts enemies with shields and armor. What holds this thing back from being further up on the list, it is not not great against bosses in terms of its damage output sometimes, as you can see in the footage when fighting Captain Trond. I know his shield is resistant against incendiary damage, but even after I got rid of his shield, it doesn't do as much damage as some of the other weapons higher on this list. Still, this thing is a no-brainer for every flag player out there, and even though it might have been an obvious choice for some, I still had to include it on this list. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 
Coming up next at number four is this Jacobs Revolver that I knew was a very good option before, but kind of surprised me on how good it was when revisiting it. The duck is basically what you would get if Mr. Torque and Rainwright Jacobs decided to work together for one time and mix both of their unique weapon trays for one damaging bad boy. It doesn't even matter that it has only four bullets to shoot before you have to reload, because every time you hit a crit spot on an enemy, it will ricochet two more bullets towards the nearest enemy, but not just any bullet. Bullets, sticky bullets that will explode for massive damage after sticking them into an enemy for a short time that can also do critical hit damage. Can you see where this thing comes in handy for flag? It doesn't matter what enemy is flash, armor, shields, badass or boss, it just deletes everything in an area pretty quickly. I know my version of it is anointed which sometimes gave me a nice additional boost in critical hit damage after every time my action skill ended but you can clearly see that it does massive damage even without the anointed boost. It will always come with an increased weapon damage critical hit damage, reload speed and splash damage radius regardless of being anointed or not. It is probably my new favorite revolver in the game so definitely try this one out for yourself. There's only one thing, one thing that holds the next weapon off from being the number one best legendary for flag on this list and that is that you can run out of ammo with it pretty quickly. I know this might sound like a stupid reason but at least for me this can be so annoying sometimes especially with how the ammo stations are distributed in this game. I'm of course talking about the Layuda which was also arguably the best sniper rifle in Borderlands 2 and in my opinion it is just that again in Borderlands 3 for every single character without a doubt. There's I believe no other weapon in the game that can deal so much damage in such little time. My version of it is the Resolute Lyuda and even comes with plus 33% weapon damage plus 40% critical hit damage with an increase of 15% fire rate at the cost of some weapon accuracy but it doesn't really matter. You might get a different version than mine with slightly different boosts but again it doesn't matter with this weapon. I've had a few other Lyudas and they all were better than any other sniper rifle I've ever used in this game. What makes this flood of weapon so powerful is the high fire rate with a projectile that after a short travel distance will split into two additional projectiles that when all landed on an enemy will just one shot almost everything. Even if you don't always find the right sweet spot for all of them to land, one bullet alone can do enough damage to one shot some enemies. Good for everyone against anything, a must have. It was a pretty tough decision between 1 and 2 and to be honest the butcher on number 2 could probably easily be also number 1 on this list. I think it kinda came down to personal preference and the fact that even though you can push the special ability of the butcher with flag a little further I think it is honestly best suited for most and her bottomless max skill tree since I found myself to run out of ammo with flag pretty quickly sometimes. Nonetheless you can just melt everything from mobs to bosses with ease and tons of fun. What this Hyperion shotgun does is while firing it has a chance to sometimes refill your magazine with a random amount of bullets that can make you shoot for such a long time without having to reload if you are lucky. Combine that with an insanely high fire rate, increased weapon and critical hit damage and you can watch every enemy just melt right in front of you. Easily one of my favorite weapons back in Borderlands 2 and maybe even more so in Borderlands 3. <laughs> Finally, at number one, the weapon that I just recently discovered, the lovely, lovely Becker. I was too busy farming for all the other legendaries that I didn't even think about finishing all of the legendary hunt challenges from Sir Hammerlock. But when I did, I was instantly in love with the Becker and I'm using it non-stop ever since. This Jacob's Assault Rifle is basically like the Lyuda, with slightly less damage per shot, but instead with a much higher ammo reserve. Just like the Lyuda, it will shoot a projectile that splits into two more projectiles after a certain distance that do unbelievable damage. You can even fire this thing off as fast 
nice as you can pull the trigger. And I don't know honestly what more to say about this weapon other than finish Sir Hammerlock's legendary hunts right now. It is so worth it. There's blood everywhere. Like I said, I will give you some quick honorable mentions before I finish this video, three to be exact. And one of them is either the Queen's or the King's Call, it doesn't matter, they are both the same weapons with just different elements attached to it. That both received a nerf with decreased fire rate, but are still amazing at dealing with bosses quickly. I didn't include them though, because they are not that good for general mobbing, since they are only really viable when hitting consecutive critical hits on larger enemies with only two shots per magazine, if you can't land the crit. If you do land one though, they will also return turn three bullets back into your magazine and create three homing projectiles that will all land on the nearest enemy and do massive damage. Another one that would have made the list if it was better at dealing with bosses is the Jacob's one shot skill cannon called the Unforgiven. It kind of sucks in Borderlands 2 but in Borderlands 3 it's pretty awesome. This revolver rewards you for landing critical hits with a big damage boost and just one shots left and right. Its fire rate is too low to deal with bosses effectively though and is also the reason why I suggest not going with the guerrillas in the mist augment for this one. Last but not least is the hellwalker which is an awesome shotgun manufactured by Jacobs that comes with the fire element only and is pretty weak against shields and that is also the reason why it didn't make my top 5. These are all great weapons though that every flag main should have in their inventory just not quite as good as the others in my opinion. So yeah guys that was my top 5 legendary weapons for flag let me know down in the comment section what are your favorite weapons for him and if you enjoyed this video or found it helpful take just one second and leave a like for it and help me out a ton by doing so and maybe tell me if there are other world hunters you want me to do this for in the future and don't forget to watch my other legendary weapon series where i cover every single legendary weapon in the game and make sure to subscribe if you don't want to miss out on any future borderlands 3 content i will also post everything i upload on twitter so you can always stay updated if you follow me on there at chillfeed gaming i will link it down below in the description thanks for watching the video and i see you guys in my next one. The bloodshed. The chaos. <laughs>